This episode of DNews is brought to you by Toyota. Let's go places. Hey guys, Anthony here for DNews at Maker Fair 2013. I've got Roberto and Anton here with me from Oru Kayak. This is a fold up kayak? Exactly, it's a <laughs> kayak that folds up using origami. Um, <laughs> So it just folds up like a sheet of paper from this into that there. That is crazy. So this thing, this thing weighs how much? It weighs 26 pounds, which is about half the weight of a comparably sized molded plastic kayak. And then how quickly can you put this thing together? Normally it goes together in about five minutes, but I think our record is about three. Wow, that is insane. You said there's like a plastic body kayak. Is this as durable? Is this as reliable as one of those? Well, yeah, I'm actually a product tester, and I've act I've taken it down class three rapids, surfed in six foot waves, run into rocks, Eskimo rolls. I I I've tried to break it and sink it, and I can't. Wow, <laughs> that's insane. So, how did you uh, how did you come up with the design for this? What's your background? I am an architect by training, and uh, this all started a few years ago when I moved into a studio apartment and had to put my kayak in storage. <laughs> and then at about the same time, I read this magazine article on origami, mm -hmm. and that just got me thinking if it would be possible to make a kayak that actually folded up like this. So what are the materials? What's this kayak made of? The primary material is a corrugated polypropylene, and it's actually a heavy-duty version of, of what you often see in postal service boxes okay. that they take mail in. This is a relatively inexpensive material? It's fairly inexpensive, yeah. What's the cost on the kayak, like if we want to get one of these? Uh, right now we're selling them on our website for $850. How does that compare to like the cost of a normal kayak? It's right about in the middle. Yeah, uh, yeah so it's, it's a very comfortable price point for this boat. It paddles phenomenally. Um, it outperforms this price, if you ask me. You said you could take it down class three rapids? Right, so, like, so what does that mean? Uh, Eskimo rolls, uh, surfing in waves, it means fully submerging the front end, back end, going over rocks, hitting trees and branches, and you know, you want to avoid that, but you know, <laughs> getting high centered on rocks, rolling off of those, bouncing, so yeah, very durable in that regard. That's great. How long did it take to design this? How many iterations did it go through? We've done about 25 iterations. It's been a good five years. It started wow. as a side project. We've been operating as a company for about a year, so That's yeah, great. it's taken a while. If uh, we want to find out more about the Oru Kayak, help you guys out, where do we do it? www.orukayak.com. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Dude, that thing is crazy innovative. I cannot wait to see what they bring that sort of manufacturing technology to next. If you're a kayaker, let me know what you think of this thing because I'm blown away by it, but I don't know anything about kayaks. Thank you to Toyota and their new RAV4 EV for bringing us out to Maker Faire. We have got so many more videos for you. Be sure to click on the playlist down below and subscribe for more D-News.